Welcome to the National College Review with Greg Howard. Throughout America, you'll find places to improve your education and broaden your professional skills. From the smallest college to the most famous Ivy League university, the National College Review highlights higher education and places where you can achieve your goals, whatever those goals may be. Whether art imitates life or life imitates art, no one can say for sure. But when it comes to the Ringling School of Art and Design, one thing is for sure. This is an institution that creates some of the finest visual artists and designers anywhere. It was founded in 1931 by noted art collector and circus magnate John Ringling, who had a great passion for developing young artists. First, it's a four-year uh, college that uh, offers the Bachelor of Fine Arts degree. And what happens is we really focus, obviously, on the visual arts and, and design. So we're very interested in developing the whole person so they have a background and perspective from the liberal arts, you know, in terms of history, in terms of culture, in terms of what the future may be like, as well as a professional school that develops incredible technical skills and development for these people to be employed in the workplace. Known today as one of the best visual art schools in the country, the backdrop for the Ringling School's 1,000 students is beautiful downtown Sarasota on the Gulf Coast of Florida. The campus is an art student's dream. Besides being an outdoor gallery, and an open-air classroom, it has 60 new and renovated classrooms and studios. Over 500 students live on campus, including married students with families. Known as one of the most technologically advanced schools of art and design in the United States, the student-to-computer ratio here is an impressive two-to-one. And the Ringling School's degree programs in art and design cover every part of the spectrum. As its dedicated faculty explains, the design department at Ringling is about um, developing architectural interiors. This particular class is a construction methods and materials class where the students are developing a set of construction documents based on what they're learning in uh, lecture and reading assignments. And that's actually one of our strengths at Ringling, the use of technology in developing um, documentation and visualization of our conceptual designs. Every department that we have in fine arts is extraordinarily uh, situated and set up for the students to maximize on their own inherent talents and techniques. So the program reinforces methodologies that are traditional with very innovative and contemporary outcomes. So for example, a student might learn a very basic a traditional printmaking technique from the 16th century, but apply it with 21st century technology. Because our curriculum is highly specialized, we try to go deep and not wide. So we drill down deeply into character animation here, and that allows our students to study animation as an art form. It is a highly competitive program. We have over 300 applications to fill only 45 new spots each year. So the program is small, and that allows us to achieve a high quality here at the school. The Ringling School of Art and Design Liberal Arts Program has as its goal to educate students to become responsible world citizens, aware of the impact that their art will have upon the world in which they live. And so we designed the program from the bottom up around four values, uh, one of which was to ask uh, how to instill global perspectives. Another was to address questions that would be pertinent while the students were practicing their art and design. The students come in as a class and we do a lot of lectures and tours. We do a lot of lectures and tours with outside groups as well. Uh, the faculty will bring them in and we'll have discussions about the work, but the, the shows are chosen specifically because of the curriculum at, at Ringling School and are meant to reflect what's taught in the classroom. Holy smokes. Yeah, this was, this was actually done by Pentagram. Well, the Design Center is a fourth year internship program where we um, have students from all disciplines coming to the Design Center to work with clients. They get a real world experience. I call it where, where theory meets practice. All these years you've been learning all this stuff, uh, the theory of design, um, 
kind of working on hypothetical projects and now you're actually working with clients and uh, you're trying to meet their needs. I knew the quality of students that we were getting at Hallmark, um, students that we had been hiring for years. Um, so it was, you know, it's, it's like paradise working with that, you know, the quality of students and, you know, the talent and everything. So I came down here and started teaching and haven't looked back since. The illustration department at Ringling School of Art and Design just tries to give a, a wide variety, kind of a traditional teaching approach to, um, for artists and because of that it gives our artists so much flexibility as far as where they're going to go with their careers. The graduates from Ringling School of Art and Design go many places. They go to Disney, LucasArts Entertainment, Industrial Light and Magic, Pixar, Big Idea, many video game companies such as Electronic Arts, Paradigm Entertainment, Funny Bone Interactive. They go to Carter's, the children's clothing company, Polo Ralph Lauren, Calvin Klein, and we don't even teach fashion. They also go to many graduate schools, such as Yale, California Institute of the Arts, Chicago Institute, and I'm very happy to say many go into the teaching field. The Ringling School's Outstanding Career Services Program provides every resource for graduating students transitioning into careers. Students also donate thousands of hours in community service, including the Newtown Art Program. The success of Ringling students is evident at the highest levels of the art and design industry. And this is perhaps the school's most powerful recruitment tool. When I was drawn to the school, it was the quality of work they were producing and the research I had done in the school, calling around film studios and game studios and asking where they got their employees that kind of drew me to the school. Practically everywhere you look, you'll find the designs, the illustrations, and the talented work of successful graduates from one particular design school, the Ringling School of Art and Design, undoubtedly a leading institution in visual arts education, creating outstanding artists and designers for the 21st century. For more information, call 1-800-255-7695 visit online at www.ringling.edu. Thanks for watching National College Review. Join us next time for the latest information in higher learning.